Yeah, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Marvel Lounge. Uh, I'm Langston. I'm Ray. And we're not alone. We're joined by prolific comic book artist and writer, the one, the only, Ryan Stegman. F Pyro. We would have Pyro. Ah, we oh, we doing... Next time. Oh, oh webs. webs. But then we have to clean them up. We have yeah, to clean yeah. them up. Pull them <laughs> How are you, my friend? How is the Comic-Con treating you? It's been uh, super big. I mean, last year was half capacity or whatever, so yeah. this is super overwhelming but you know it's always good to get out and see fans and everything i mean you're down in artist alley am i correct yeah. you're in the thick of it yeah. okay i really love talking with all of our creators about what it's like to be down there because again it is the first time you've seen people in a very long time but it's also the only the time you really get to connect with all right. of your readers on that level yeah well so we've gotten kind of used to do it i've done a few shows but we they're all kind of like half capacity and uh, so normally our lines, you know, they kind of run out. Well, this one, it doesn't run out. It just keeps going. And so, like, today to come here, I had to be like, I can't do anymore. I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll be back. But, you know, again, like, it's, a, it's rewarding for sure. That's so exciting. Yeah. And it's also rewarding for all the, the up-and-coming artists and writers out there to get to hear your thoughts and get to hear us pick your brain. And I want to pick your brain because you are known as uh, an incredible, incredible artist and writer, but also for your covers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes the most, I mean, not even sometimes, the most important aspect of that comic, thing that grabs your eye on the shelf, is the cover. So what, in your opinion, are some of the elements that go into making a great, iconic comic book cover? Well, so I have like a, an approach that I think is, is from the old 90s days, which is um, I just want to see something that's cool. Yeah. So I have tried. I've gone into stages where I will do like clever covers. Um, and I've kind of just started shying away from that. I just want to draw two characters punching. So the editors will <laughs> often send me these elaborate ideas. And I'm like, wait, which two characters can hit each other yeah. on this cover? <laughs> Absolutely. And then they'll come back with that, and then I do draw that, and those are the ones that the fans love the most. I mean, the, my, my friends, my, my artist friends, they love the clever ones. Mm. But what I've noticed is the fan response is only to the ones where they're punching each other. Not so. fair. <laughs> uh, I aim to please. You know? I, uh, that's, thank uh, you so much. I was yes. talking with um, a writer today where I was like, as long as they're punching with purpose, man. That's yeah, what yeah. it comes that's down to. Punch with purpose. I mean. punch with I've purpose. mastered the art of them both punching but not actually hitting each other. So Ooh. nobody's winning. They're both, kind, you know. But you, see, you don't just work on any covers. And I mean, like, all of our comic book characters are very important to us. But specifically, I mean, Thor, um, we got Mighty Thor, we got Jane Foster, also, um, what's the one I'm thinking? Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man 2009. Yeah. What's it like to be in control of such larger than life characters and, like, breathe that into them? Well, it's tough because I've drawn Spider Man forever. And I always, I never want to draw the same thing twice. Yeah. So, like, since I, even before I was a comic book professional, I would draw Spider Man. So sometimes when you, you get a Spider-Man one, you're like, how do I do something new? But, you know, in the end, you always come up with something, I guess. Um, and then, you know, the other characters, Spider-Man's my favorite. Um, but, you know, any other character, you know, you, sometimes you find that you have an affinity for the character that you never knew. Mm -hmm. And so you start drawing it and you're like, wow, I really love this character. And you just try to bring that through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. And uh, so you were talking about, it's funky, I'm a 90s kid. I, mean, I was born in 85, so I grew up in the 90s. So Two of the characters that you've worked on that speak to my 90s child are Venom and Sabretooth. Right. So, I mean, Venom, of course, you watch the Spider Man animated series. Venom, and of course, the Wolver on the X Men animated series, Sabretooth. But Venom, this character, so popular, uh, this super jacked heel that just yeah. likes kicking Peter through walls, which is <laughs> fun. Uh, what goes into, because that character is so expressive, and so, there's so many artists that have done it. So, what is your approach? So, taking that also, punching which uh, doing a character like Venom, and also, how has Venom lasted for so long as this lethal protector, you know what I mean? Well, you know, uh, it's funny because I am a 90s kid, but Venom wasn't my guy. Mm. Uh, so I did uh, Venom Inc., and that was the first time that I was drawing Venom for Marvel. And I was like, well, I kind of love drawing this. And then I so sort of became like a huge fan of the character, and then they offered me the Venom series. And then it, I feel like because we kind of did something different with him and added a bunch to him, um, I fell in love with the character. So, you know, my approach in that book was... Sort of, I want, you know, some guys do them very monstrous, some guys do them very, well, a lot of guys do them, like, really monstrous. And we wanted to show the human and the monster in the same character. So I, I made them, you know, a more reasonably sized character, even though everything I draw is, you know, proportionally not mm. realistic. Um, so that's, that was kind of our approach was, you know, that middle ground. Well, the good news is, is there are a ton of Venom cosplayers here. I've even seen some that are split with Spider-Man. So it really speaks to the kind of the character that you've been working on and just like the emblem of like, 
Conetry, honestly, that yeah. like your stories last through. So I cannot thank you enough for being here, though. Well, yes. thank you, so thank you guys. I really appreciate it. You. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes, and please stay tuned. Uh, check out Ryan everywhere online. Check out his everywhere. books and check out all the cool things happening here from Marvel and New York Comic Con 2022. Is this when I jump off the edge? No, please don't. No, please don't. <laughs> There's no webs. We have Zip no webs. Ryan. <laughs>